Hey everyone, it's Jill and I hate to do this to you Avon, but today I'm going to be talking about your worst products. So this is obviously, according to the title, the worst of Avon. <laughs> um, okay, where should I begin? I'm going to begin with these two nail polishes. Avon, I don't know what you were thinking with this, but in your brochure, when you show this color on someone's toenails, it looks so beautiful. But when you put this stuff on, what this is, let me go ahead and tell you what this is first. It is the Nail Wear Pro, and the color is Jade. Um, it goes on so light and so streaky and so disgusting, you cannot fix it. So I don't know how they got it to look so pretty on the model's nails but crap okay same with this one right here I was like oh I love this color I love this color this is a Nailwear Pro again in cotton candy and one night I was like just really lazy and tired and I wanted my, my toes painted my toenails I always say my toes um and I was like I asked my husband I was like can you please do like paint my toes for me I'm just so tired and he was like sure so he painted them with this. This is the color I picked out. And I was like, okay, he did a really crappy job, but I'm not going to say anything. And then I was like, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, try to like secretly redo them. And when I redid them, it came out the same exact way. And I was like, oops, it wasn't him. It was the nail polish. So sorry, Avon, you do not have a winner with these two nail polishes. They are crap. I hate to talk bad about a company, but hey, you take the good with the bad. They have some great, awesome products, as you see if you watch my Best of Avon, but they also have some really sucky, crappy products, too. Okay, another thing that I think is absolute crap is this a new Wrinkle Zone Line Smoothing Duo in Light. Um, <clears throat> for the longest time, I actually thought this was a concealer. Which is why I was like, at first I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff just absolutely sucks as a concealer. It doesn't give you the coverage you want. Um, it's too dark for, you know, this is the lightest of the light that they have. And that's pretty dark. Um, and then the powder was just, it was just kind of cakey. And I just didn't like it at all. And I was like, this is a crappy ass concealer. Um, and then I was like, I read up on it and I was like, oh, duh, it's supposed to be used like on the forehead and like around here like on your fine lines um, but I still think it's crap even for that so I don't like this um, actually some people say that they have that they do use this as a concealer um, on reviews that I have read so as a concealer it sucks and as a putting it on it's just too cakey to me I don't know it's I just don't like this at all so that is another one um, again, with their fail, they have failed big time on their concealers. I have the Avon Beyond Color Radiant Lifting Concealer in... I don't know what the color is. I don't know if that's supposed to be a color or what. My daughter has a brush. She's going to so be into makeup. Um, anyways, I don't know what the color is, but ugh, this stuff is just, it's horrible. I like put it underneath my, my circles, put it on my circles, put it on my circles, and it never, first of all, it doesn't last. Second of all, it does not cover up what you want to cover up. Um, so yeah, this is not very good. That was a major fail on their part. Um, this right here is their Ideal Shade Concealer Stick, and this one is in light. Same thing, blemishes, and um, I got it in fair for my blemishes, and I got it in light for my under eye circles. Same thing. Cakey. Um, I don't know. Just not good concealer at all for either covering up blemishes or under eye doesn't last doesn't hold up to what what they what they claim 
Okay, and then last for the concealer is the Anu Age Transforming Concealer. Um, this also says to uh, apply before <laughs> sun exposure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like a little brush. If I can get it out. You see how thin that is? It's so thin thin and I don't like the texture of it. Um, it doesn't cover up my circles. It, it doesn't last. I just don't like it. So fail on their part again. Um, these right here I was really 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 disappointed in and I hate to include this in the video because the colors are gorgeous. So I'm not complaining about the color. I'm not complaining about the <laughs> eyeshadow and how it wears or how it blends or how it feels or how pigmented it is or anything like that. I am basically, see I just did a swatch of it, great color. Um, I'm complaining about the packaging. I have about eight or nine of these and all of them have fallen apart. So I think they might need to do something about that packaging. I mean, no matter what you do, it's like, see, it's saying on now. Well, there it goes. Um, so, yeah, really crappy packaging on this. These are the True Color Eyeshadow Singles, and that color in particular is Periwinkle. So, maybe I can depot this or, like, take out this and put it into something else. I don't know. We'll see if I can do that. But crappy packaging on that part. Okay, this right here is the Shake and Go powder brush in light. So basically, it's a neat concept. You just throw this in your bag and when you need a touch up, you just shake it and you know, it goes on. Okay, where's the powder? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a great idea. There's the powder right there, but it's not coming off on my hand at all. I don't know. So, like I said, great concept, but epic fail because it doesn't work. So, um, yeah, shake and go powder brush in light. That's what it's called. Okay, <clears throat> mascaras. I do not like their Avon Super Curl Lashes Mascara. I thought this might be comparable to Panoramic, which is, is my favorite, but I don't know. Just the formulation of it. It doesn't thicken. It doesn't curl. It doesn't do any of that stuff, so I don't like this. Um, this is their Avon Super Extend Mascara. That's what the wand looks like. Um, not a big fan of this either. Um, this is supposed to really lengthen your lashes and all I noticed that it did was clump them together. So I didn't like that at all. And this right here is the Avon Super Shock Intense and I believe that this is supposed to do both. Um, kind of resembles the Lash Blast brush a little bit. Um, it might not be as big. Let me just do a comparison. Or it actually might be bigger. I don't know. There's the last lash blast. It's actually longer and not as not as thick. Um, so yeah, I thought that this might be comparable to lash blast, and that's why I was really excited to get this, but it's not. Um I don't think it really did much for my lashes at all. So I don't like that. Um, Skin So Soft Satin Glow Absolute Glow Gel just comes out clear and is so sticky. It just doesn't feel good on the skin at all. And I'm going to have to wash my hands. But, um, I don't know. It, it could be the humidity where I am. Um, um, so yeah, this stuff is. It's dried and it is so sticky and like I said I don't know if it's the humidity or what um, and it also says that after you use it for a week the skin looks and feels tightened and firmed mm -mm. after two weeks of use it minimizes the appearance of hair no not at all 
So, thumbs down on that. This right here is absolute crap. Um, this is one of their newer products. And I don't know if you guys have seen the commercial on this, but it says after a week of use, um, this is their Advanced Techniques Frizz Control Lotus Shield. After a week of use, you're not going to have frizzy hair again or anymore. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my hair. See that right there? It's still frizzy. And I curled it and straightened it before I curled it. And I used this. I've been using this for like actually two weeks straight. No. This stuff sucks. I absolutely think this is a bunch of bull. Um, as well as this Advanced Techniques Intense Repair Overnight Elixir for Damaged or Distressed Hair. I didn't see anything with my hair as far as it looking healthy or anything. Um, so that concludes my worst of Avon. I'm sorry to put you down, Avon, but you do really have a lot more fantastic products than you do bad products. Um, I just kind of wanted to get this out there. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And again, I'm sorry for Avon. I'm sorry for bashing you, but you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.